Now to a lawsuit over the Farm Show Milkshakes. A mid-state business is using the name to sell milkshakes at other events, but the PA Dairymen's Association claims they don't have the right. Dennis Owens live in the ABC 27 newsroom with more on this case. This is very interesting, Dennis. It is indeed, James, and this story goes back to that age-old question, what's in a name? When it comes to farm show milk milkshakes, a huge federal court fight over who gets to use that name. The Pennsylvania dairymen have sold milkshakes at the farm show since 1953, but never trademarked the name. In 2017, they entered into an agreement with R.C. Herd to sell milkshakes outside the farm show event at fairs, festivals, and football games uh, to make some money for nonprofits and the dairymen. That arrangement ended after COVID, but Her, which did trademark the name Farm Show Milkshake, continues to sell them. The dairymen sued, arguing they've been selling them at the farm show for 70 years and are the rightful owners of the name. Neither of those two are publicly commenting. The state agriculture secretary is. The state's now entered the legal fight, saying it, in fact, owns the name Farm Show, as the show's now in its 108th year. This is a dispute between uh, several friends and organizations with long-standing connections to both uh, the farm show and to the department. Uh, we are making sure that we uh, protect the trademark of farm show, right? That belongs to us. It's a state-sponsored show for 108 years. So the use of that and how it's applied uh, is our interest in the farm show. Uh, so we're going to try to protect that and hopefully we can resolve this issue between parties. And there is money involved here, as you might expect. The dairymen say all of the money it raises selling shakes at the farm show go to the association to pay for agriculture-related programs. Her says a portion of its proceeds go to charities, and over the years, it has donated $750,000 to various causes. There could be a settlement in this, or we wait to see what the courts rule. That could take as much as a year, legal analysts tell me. In the meantime, James, I'm headed to the farm show right now. Can I bring you a milkshake? What flavor would you like? <laughs> I, I'll take the salted caramel. No, I, 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 I do have some questions for you, Dennis, okay. about this. Okay, so this her company that also sells the farm show milkshake, is this a different recipe for a milkshake than the ones that we buy from the dairy so when, when they were in agreement with the dairymen it was all the same but since the split it is now they are different milkshakes as far as the ingredients are concerned i'm not as discerning a milkshake uh, drinker as i am a wine drinker they both are delicious to me so i i can't say but some people do notice a difference they are not the same recipe right now yeah. funny thing is what is officially called farm show milkshakes from her they have never actually sold a milkshake in the farm show Wow, very interesting. And I was going to ask you, what is the, you know what, bring me both. And, and <laughs> I, I, I will make the decision. <laughs> well, you said, and the bottom line is, some, we were talking in the newsroom, some people are out at an event, let's say the, a, a car show or something, mm -hmm. and, you, and it says farm show milkshakes. Because it says that, uh, and a lot of people talk about it, there's a lot of buzz about farm show milkshakes, they're more inclined to go buy one yeah. because it has that brand on it. That brand has value. Uh, now up to the courts to decide who exactly gets to to own it. It has value. It also has like a distinct taste in my mind. When I hear farm show milkshake, I have an idea. Let's be honest, James. Have you ever like. had a bad milkshake? It's uh, ice cream and milk, my friend. D Dennis, I'm telling you, I can taste the difference. <laughs> okay. I, I can tell you, I, I can taste the difference. Very good. <laughs> Salted right, caramel, Dennis. you're on the you're on the clock. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll see you back here tonight at five. Right. Thanks so much for that interesting story.